put it in. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Hello. How are you? Good evening, good evening. All right, everybody, are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, welcome to our class then. This is the class number 12, actually. Okay, this is our session number 12. This is February the 9th, Thursday, February 9th, yes, 2023. Well, I hope you are fine. I hope you're okay. Everything is all right. And this is our session's objective. At the end of this session, participants will be able to share activities in the future in the present tense. So definitely we're going to be contrasting the simple present and the present continuous for future events, right? So this is what we're going to be doing. This is what we're going to be covering. Mm, my apologies about the background sound, you know, sometimes it's kind of impossible to stop it because of the neighbors don't contribute to the cost. But anyways, so let's have the attendance. Let's start with the attendance, okay? Ready to say present. <laughs> All right, let's see. One second, I need to get the right date. The right date is. Oh my God. Hold on. All right, Thursday 9th. Okay. Ana Ruth, Brenda, Claudia, Daniel, good evening, everything okay Daniel? All right, Daniel Alejandro. Not yet. Okay, let's see. Daniela. Present. Daisy Hola. Tatiana. I'm here. All right, Dolores. Present. Thank you. Juliana. 
not here. Present, present teacher. Um, <laughs> thank you, Helen. Jonas. Jorge. Okay, Julio. Present. Hello, good evening. Karen. Present. Hello, good evening. Uh, Kevin. And Lady. Lady, Lady. Present. Hello. Present. And Ruth Evelyn has permission, she says. She needs to be in a meeting tonight. All right. So that's it. Yes, we practically have, let's see, 10, well, nine people. But I see that two people are going to be just listeners. So that's basically one, two, three, four, five, six people practicing. Well, seven, let's say. Okay. Great. Okay, one second, please. Just need to get something from right here. Okay. Oh, just right here. And then here. Okay. One second, please. Try to remember what we studied yesterday, please. Okay. Try to remember. Try to make memories. Try to review. Try to get some ideas of what we studied yesterday, please. Okay. Then when you're ready, you let me know. Okay. Please. Okay. Do you remember now? Mm -hmm. What was the topic about yesterday? Any idea? Uh huh. Present continuous. Yeah, some people I hear you are far, far away. Maybe we can improve the um, the microphone. It would be great. Present continuous for. What was the main use of the present continuous? Mm hmm. Okay, single present tonight. Teacher está preguntando lo que vimos ayer. Yes. Okay. Vimos el present continuo y el y los que terminaban en ing. Mm -hmm. Okay, present continuo. Los verbos que usamos para el present continuo son verbs in ing. Exactly. ¿Para qué exactamente usaron el verso en continuos? Para hablar de lo que vamos a hacer a futuro. Exactly. To talk about a near future. To talk about future plans. That's right. Okay. Let's see. What else? What else do you remember? ¿Qué más recuerdo? Uh -huh. Solo que iba a ser a futuro, pero en más de una semana, quizás. A close future, exactly. Okay, that's right. What else? ¿Algo más? Que dependiendo de la sílaba vocal que terminara, así se le iba a agregar o se le iba a eliminar. El ING, ajá, si terminaba en una E, obviamente se elimina la E y solo se le pone ING. True, 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 true. Uh -huh. 
Anything else? The uh, structure. The structure. What was the structure? Uh -huh. The structure is um, subject plus verb plus member. The member. Uh -huh. member. Plus complement. Uh -huh. The main verb in ing form, right? Exactly. Subject plus verb B plus the main verb in ing plus the complement. Exactly. That's good. Okay. Anything else? Uh -huh. No more? Do you remember the conversation? Anybody remember the conversation? La que nosotros hicimos. Mm, yes, or the other conversation that you had in the manual. Mm -hmm. Well, what's it about? Mm -hmm. Está diciendo sobre qué hablaba. Mm -hmm. Sobre. Sobre qué ya le dije. <laughs> about future events. Uh -huh. Ajá. la página. <laughs> specifically. Uh -huh. Conference. Conference. Uh -huh. <coughs> what else? Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Teacher, se hablaba. Bueno, ahí disculpa que el inglés me ha quedado corto. Simplemente okay. hablábamos del presente continuo y lo que usted detallaba es que era un presente continuo en el que no necesitábamos. Eh, por ejemplo, utilizar el, el will be para hacerlo a futuro, porque era como un presente, eh, como que era un futuro uh, próximo. Right. Y que para denotarlo había que detallar, por ejemplo, eh, en qué momento. Eh, por ejemplo... Uh, La expresión de tiempo, de time ajá, expression. I go, I go to sleep uh, that's, that's night at, uh, at 10 p.m. Uh -huh. creería que algo así entonces uh -huh. se denota se denota pues en qué tiempo para y de, y de cierta forma lo estamos acortando y diciendo que no es tan lejano right. yeah. estamos diciendo el tiempo en el que ya planeamos que eso ocurra uh -huh. porque ya tenemos estipulado que vamos a hacer esa acción, right? Pero si sí lo usamos como un press, o sea, si sí usamos la estructura, más bien dicho, del present continuous para describir una acción en el futuro. Yes, that's right. Solo quiero a ver si se recuerdan de las expresiones de la, de la conversation. ¿De qué hablaban? Conversation, eh, there are two persons talking mm -hmm. about eh, represent, eh, a conference that represent a company in their conference. Right. Representing, yes, there were two people talking about who is going to represent or who is representing the company in a conference, right? In a yearly conference, in a monthly conference, in a weekly conference? Yearly. In a yearly conference. Uh -huh, you see? I told you, vamos a poner a prueba la memory, okay? So it is important because if we don't remember this vocabulary, then when we need to talk, maybe we're going to continue talking, but with very basic sentences. And so 
we have to remember, we have to read, we have to analyze, we have to retell what's happening in the conversation. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otro detalle de la conversation? What else? What other detail? Eh, mm -hmm. the, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a, a person that, that, that he, her name is Julie, mm -hmm. uh, that she is attending, but uh, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Este, ay, como ella <risa> eh, Other person eh, delivering the presentation for the CEO and the next week. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There's other uh -huh. word used in this conversation is presenting, informing, committing, uh -huh. and I don't remember all that. It's right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The conference was between Peter and Henry, right? Peter uh -huh. asked Henry, okay? Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? And, P and Henry says, Maria is. Yes. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So Maria and Julie are attending the conference. Definitely, right? And Peter says, yeah. If Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentation? Guess what, says Henry. I am. So Henry is presenting, yes. He is giving the presentation. He's delivering the presentation for the CEO with the new accountant, with Hector, the new accountant, right? Okay, and then Peter says, oh, that sounds great. So Peter is informing the committee about it, right? So this is practically kind of retelling. Narrar, describir lo que sucedió en la conversation, right? Okay, perfect. Of course, we talk about the structure, you already described, you already paraphrase, you already repeated the structure of the present continuous. Of course, for the scheduled events, uh, I mean, scheduled events to happen, to take place in the near future, right? Okay. Yeah. And then we were practicing with some exercises. We were completing some exercises, and that's awesome. We completed this, and then, of course, we're going to start with the next lesson, okay? Okay, the, uh, the objective or the idea is to describe ongoing activities accurately in regular activities of the workplace. And, of course, to get started, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And what is the first thing that you do when you get to your workplace? Okay, so think about, think about these two questions. Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? ¿Quién es la persona que siempre llega temprano, que llega primero antes que todos en su trabajo? ¿Y cuál es la primera cosa que usted hace justo al llegar a su workplace? Quizás no la, la primera que haga como por necesidad propia, sino por el trabajo, ¿ok? Porque nosotros decimos, no, the first thing I do when I get to my work is to get coffee. Pero eso no es no el deber ser, ¿verdad? Right? <laughs> sino la primera actividad es sus responsabilidades. The first thing that I do to get to my work is to turn on the computer and check email. Eso sí, ya. Yeah. But the first thing I do when I get to my work is to have a meeting. Or the first thing that I do when I get to my work is to... Uh, check emails or send letters or to write letters, to count uh, material, I don't know, whatever responsibility you have, right? So that is the idea, okay? Bye. Voy a dar un minutito para que piensen cómo responder estas two questions. 
Luego, si tienen la answer, la pueden decir on the microphone o escribirla en el chat, as you wish. All right? Got it? Yes. All right. Perfect. Two minutes to answer. Uh, the first thing that I do when I get to my workplace is to run my computer and check my agenda, mm -hmm. electronic agenda. Very good. That's great. Why do you do that? Why is it important for you to do that, to check your agenda? It's important because I... I have, I have to uh, review mm -hmm. in or, uh, the engagement mm -hmm. uh, in the order uh, in assigning to uh, priority. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the priority that I assign or assign. Assign, assign. Assign in my electronic agenda. Mm -hmm. and yes. Because if I uh, don't respect, 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 okay, respect uh, the order, mm -hmm. uh, I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. The first thing you do is to check your agenda because you organize the order of the activities that you have to do all the priorities as well so you know how much time you have for each of the activities so that's pretty important definitely good great somebody else Someone else? Mm -hmm. Who's ready? Who is ready to participate? Or we say names. <laughs> I see a lot of names here. Uh huh. Yes. Miss, diremos qué es lo que hacemos nosotros en la mañana y quién la llega. La primera cosa que hace, exactly, and the first person that gets to your job. Uh -huh. Okay, the first person that arrives in the morning is the cleaning lady. Okay, the person that cleans. Uh -huh. Y um, she makes the coffee. <laughs> really important. <laughs> okay. And yeah. um, when and when uh, are you? When I arrive. Uh huh. I arrive. Uh -huh. Um, I drink coffee. Uh huh. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and from work. Um, Enciendo la copa. I turn on the computer. And the computer. Mm -hmm. Yes. And? Mm, 
Um, desayuno y breakfast, ¿verdad? Breakfast. You have breakfast in on the computer. What do you do on the computer when you turn on the computer? Mm, yeah. No. Check emails and reports, create letters. What what do you do on the computer? Solo para todo el sistema. No revisar. Ok. Just to update the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Great. I see a message. It says Daisy Tatiana and the, mm -hmm. and the first person to arrive at the office. And the first thing I do is organizing my documents and check my emails. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Okay. Someone else? Did you think about your answers? I told you, you have two minutes. Think about your answers. Yes. Uh, I am the prince. person to arrow to arrive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> first, um, I don't is turned on the computer. Turn on the computer. Mm -hmm. And check their their system of function. Okay. And to check the billing system. Billing system. Mm -hmm. Y ya luego de <laughs> and then have breakfast. <laughs> okay, everybody has breakfast when you get to work. Okay, everybody has breakfast at work. Yo. Yes. Sí. Okay, teacher. Um, pero vamos con la cuestióncita esta. Uh, the first person to read at um, our workplace is Juliana. Uh, uh, that's funny. Thing. That's funny because she raised her hand. Yes, continue. Uh, so sometimes it's me. Okay. Okay. Este, uh, the first uh, thing I do mm -hmm. in, uh, in the morning at work is mm -hmm. uh, take a breakfast. <laughs> okay. uh, the coffee. <laughs> Uh, no puede faltar. <laughs> the coffee is waiting. <laughs> it's waiting. Yeah. Okay. And you have food from your house or you get food from work for the breakfast? Um, entre house y, o sea, el, lo que pasa es que a diario hago un recorrido hacia el negocio, dejo el carro parqueado un poco lejos. En el camino me encuentro un donde comer y ahí, generalmente ahí he estado desayunando. Pero, so you pick the food. No, ajá, mm. pero ocasionalmente pues en el trabajo, eh, en ocasiones como le digo he estado llegando un poco temprano y está la chance de poder nice. desayunar ahí en la oficina. Así es. So you have a cafeteria at work. Yeah. Mm, important. And you buy the food there. Mm, sí, sí, también. Mm -hmm. Comidita allí. Ok, good. Ok, Juliana. <laughs> yes. Eh, eh, I get up by 30 a.m. Then I go to shower. Then I change, uh, make breakfast mm -hmm. for my husband and me, mm -hmm. and then we go to work. In, in, in work, uh, make a coffee <laughs> <laughs> every day. <laughs> Finish. All right. And from work, what's the first activity from work that you do? 
Mm, usually uh, report uh, de los contratos. Contract reports. Contract report. Mm -hmm. uh, information inform, informar a la UASI. Mm -hmm. Only. Only All right. Nice. Thank you. Okay, someone else is going to share? Alguien más nos va a compartir? Someone else? No? Sure? Okay. <laughs> si nos quedaron algunos. Okay, so next time is your turn. Next activity, I know the names already. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it's great. That's what I said. Okay. Well, yes, we were presenting. Okay. Remember that we are using the present continuous. Okay. For future activities, for very close or near future activities, right? Okay. And so these were the questions you were discussing. What time do you get to work? And what's your opinion about home office? Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe you have the experience doing home office, or maybe you haven't had the experience doing home office. But what do you think? What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? Okay, what are the pros? What are the cons? Did you like the experience? If you had the experience, or would you like to have the experience? Okay, so we're going to discuss these two questions in small groups. So try to practice with your partner, try to speak, try to express your opinion. That's real important. So everybody has the opportunity to practice. Okay, let's see. Hola. Hola Dolores. Dolores Jorge. ¿Mm? Hola, buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Jorge. Ok. What time do you get? What time do you get to work? ¿A qué hora llega el trabajo? Bueno, usted ya lo contestó, ¿verdad? No, no, solo dijo su inicio del día. I am... Tatiana. Hola, no me escucha. ¿Cuál es?
horas de casa. ¿A qué horas te comunica? What time do you get, get to work? Work. ¿A qué hora llegas al trabajo? Hora llegas? Ajá. Yo puse, I am getting at work at 7.30 a.m. Okay, yo como como yo llego ahí arriba at my my work at 7.45 a.m. Terminemos las... Ah, de, ajá, de, no, demos, demos respuestas. Opinión. Opinión. Ah, it was, uh, it was your opinion of, of your home office. En esa estaba, decía que the office at home is an alternative to do uh, para trabajar, ¿sí? to work. Yeah. Eh, las termino y luego nos compartimos las respuestas. Ahorita la estoy redactando. La primera pregunta es, what time do you get to, get to work? Uh, I start, yo inicio, a trabajar, work, at 7 a.m. Inicio a trabajar a las 7 de la mañana. Y, m okay. I finish, y finalizo, at 4 p.m. Y termino a las 4 de la tarde. Ok. Ok. Segunda. Uh -huh. Es. Digo. What is your opinion of home office? Uh -huh. That is. No. That is. Amor. Que es una manera. Confortable. 
comporté, creo que se dice, comportable, ajá, cómoda, 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 ajá, cómoda, way of, of working, es una manera más cómoda de trabajar, uh -huh. has it at, espérame que hay palabras que no las puedo decir, has it at vintage, ya que tiene sus ventajas, has it at Vintage and especially y sobre todo new no technology la nueva tecnología help people to have more eh, ahora la tecnología ayuda a que las personas tengan eh, more facility to carry más, más facilidad Um, all day proceder más facilidad para realizar su gestión ahí lo he dejado no sé si me entendieron o, le, lo, o vuelvo a repetir está bien okay. sí ahí se nos ha incorporado Daniela Sí. Corporo Dani. Ok. Este. Pero le alcancé a escuchar cuando dijo que era más confortable, que, que consideraba que era confortable el trabajo en casa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Más cómodo que para es trabajar. Es una manera ajá, más cómoda de trabajar. Ok. Ya que tiene sus ventajas. Has it advantage. 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 Ah, advantage. Uh -huh. ah, ya que tiene sus ventajas y en especial, y sobre todo en especial, la nueva tecnología. No technology. Ayuda a las personas. Help people to have more. Hay otras personas que tengan más facility to carry, más facilidad para realizar sus gestiones. O their proceso. Mm. Bueno, eso es mi opinión. No sé qué más ya. A mí me parece bien, Karen. Ok. Vamos a ver, okay. Jorge. Sí. Okay. Eh, la, la primera pregunta es que llego acá al trabajo, dice, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y ahora está, ajá, tengo ese trabajo. Uh -huh. I, get, I get to work at... Nos hacemos las preguntas entonces y nos respondemos. Ok. What time do you get to work? I am. Ah, por ahí me queda la duda. Entonces le quita el I am, ¿verdad? Es solo I getting. Uh -huh. I getting at work at 7.30 a.m. Yeah. What is your opinion of home office? My opinion of... Home office is that there is less traffic in the city and you can sleep more. Sí. What time do you get to work? I arrive at my work at 7.45 a.m. What is your opinion of home office? It is an advantage since we are not the layer with traffic, so I can get up later and be ready to go. Tarde, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Later, así está bien. Eh, last. No era tarde. Last. Later. Later. Tal vez no, Google sabe. 
Sí, later, later, no. Ahí, dale, va, escuchamos, escuchemos. Later. Later. Uh -huh. Later. 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 All right, everybody answered the questions. Anybody would like to express his or her opinion? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? Okay, le diré el mío, teacher. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, I arrived at six. And fifteen, I think that it is quite comfortable and beneficial because you do everything at home without living with other people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, without living and interacting too much with other people. Okay, very good. Another volunteer. Good, good, good. Remember, there are no correct or wrong answers. It's just practicing. Hi, teacher. Hi. I am um, uh, in the first question. What time do you get a word? Um, I arrived at work at 7 uh, 55 mm -hmm. a.m. Mm -hmm. In the second question, what is your opinion of home office? Uh, the office at home is an, is an alternative to work away from the traditional office. Mm -hmm. Actually, the, uh, the technologies make it possible to work remotely. Nice, nice, very good. Okay, we have Karen and Juliana. Just let me connect the computer. Just one second, please. Okay, but we are waiting for Karen and Juliana's answer. Just one second. Okay, and first question. What time do you get to work? I read my work at 7.45 a.m. New, new question. What is your opinion of home office? Mm -hmm. It is a bad thing. We are not delay traffic, so I can get up later mm -hmm. and be ready to work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it has some benefits, some advantages. You can be, you can get up later, and you can be ready to work at home. All right. I sleep, I sleep more. <laughs> I sleep more. I have more energy. Okay, good. Karen? Okay. Permit. Um, what time do you have to work? Uh, I start work at 7 a.m. and I finish at 
4 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your opinion of home office? Um, that is a more comforting way of working since it has its advantage. advantage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And special no technology mm -hmm. help people to have more facility to carry out their procedure. procedures. Procedures. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Nice. Dolores. The website I do. I am. Get to work and I get my I get to work at eight mm -hmm. PM. Mm -hmm. And and what is my op my opinion of home office is a uh, the best the best uh, for to work because I can do other thing como mm -hmm. eh, en paralelo at the same time uh, 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 yes at the same time eh, um, I avoid traffic the stress um, it's the more important um, I can church time with my family I can uh, share, uh, for example, the lunch with my family. And I got up more late. Yes, <laughs> later. <laughs> okay. Um, so you only see advantages. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, but the disadvantage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's is advantage. That, is that. You uh, no pass the die and I don't feel. Uh, oh, ¿Cómo se dice? No siento. Yeah, I don't feel. Tiempo. I don't feel the uh -huh. time. I don't feel the time. I'm ending my work later. Later. All uh -huh. right. Because, for example, uh, this this week uh -huh. I finish twelve. Eh, 12 eh, medianoche midnight midnight or 1, 2 a.m. my goodness yes and um, when I see time mm. it's late. <laughs> Too late it happens because you don't have to go from one place to another right so you are only stay working for hours and hours it's true when mm -hmm. I when I did home office in 2020, sometimes 3 a.m. in the morning and I was still working. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? Mm -hmm. I have to sleep. And the yeah. next day, of course, you don't want to get up, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. We have lady. Um. I write a word a um, D or a sixteen. Mm -hmm. At the hard office, I uh, I find or is stressful. It's stressful. Um, to say the storm or alternative. Is an alternative? Is a good alternative? Oh? Home office is a good alternative or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Someone else? <laughs> Nadie más? Nobody else? By the way. It's okay. Oh, Tatiana, oh my God. <laughs> Tell us. I, I get in at work at 7.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. My opinion 
of a home office is that there is less traffic in the city and you can sleep more. <laughs> simple, simple as that. There's less traffic, you don't get stressed because of the traffic and you can sleep more. True, 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 true. Well, there are some some jobs and some works that can be done from home, but there are some others that is very, very difficult to do it from home. So that's why probably the companies push and force the employees to go to the, to the office, right? Okay, I have this verse and I have the ING form. What is the ING form for book? Booking. 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 And what's the meaning of booking? Read. Reading? No, book as a verb. You say, I book a room in a hotel. I book an Airbnb. So make a reservation. It's booking. Exactly. So yes, okay. What's the ing form of text? Texting. Texting. You say, oh, I'm texting you tomorrow. Okay, I'm texting you for the conference, or I'm texting you on Saturday. Okay, for the meeting. So definitely, okay. Print. Printing. Printing. Printing, okay. So, oh, I'm printing the report for my boss, right? And delivery. Delivery. Delivery, right? So it's this easy, okay? For the present continuous, we need the verb in the ing form. We have, I mean, for most of the verbs, we only add if the verb just finishes in a consonant, we just add ing. So we don't have to complicate much about it, right? Okay, so we have a conversation and it goes like this. Ryan and Raul. Ryan says, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Right now? Eso que le suena. A qué tiempo? Ahora. En este momento, en este instante, justo ahorita que estamos hablando. Por eso les decía ayer. Si sí, usamos el present continuous para un futuro próximo, pero el uso más común del present continuous es describir acciones que ocurren en el momento en el que estamos hablando. La, lo que está sucediendo mientras estamos hablando, ¿ok? So, that's why it says right now. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I'm planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay? So... As you may notice, in this conversation, there is a contrast. Hay un contraste, right? The, el present continuous, y del simple present. ¿Cuándo sé que estoy usando simple present? Cuando el verbo para empezar no tiene ing. ¿Sí? Es algo que usualmente sucede. Rutinas, hábitos, right? Verdades. Y otra cosa que también me puede decir que es simple present es que uso adverso frequency, usually, right? Always, never, sometimes. Obviously, no es que siempre en el simple present voy a usar un adverso frequency. Pero cuando queremos denotar la frecuencia con la que hacemos eso, sí, le agregamos un adverso frequency, ¿ok? So, one more time. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I'm planning a video conference. 
Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Voy a dar algún tiempo, uno o dos minutos, para que escanen. Se escanen así, vea, con la mirada. No que van a ir a la horita a escanear a su office. Scan the conversation. Vean si tienen alguna dificultad con alguna palabra, alguna expresión. Y la podemos, pues, discutir. Y luego practicar. ¿Ok? Let me know, please. All right, no questions. ¿Cómo se pronuncia get heading? Get. Getting. Getting. They are getting ready. Get. Como si hubiera una U para nosotros en español, pero en realidad ajá, así suena. Get. Getting ready for the conference. Uh -huh. Something else? Algo más? Anything else? No? No. Okay. All right. Let's practice. I'm going to assign you to a new group so that you can practice as much as possible. If you have difficulties with the vocabulary, if you need help from your partner, so help your partners. That will be awesome. Collaborate. Afternoon, Saul. Where are you doing? Sleep no. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Where is all the team? Your try no. Yes. It's it. It is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually have to do work? Press? Where do you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Wait, I try um, 7 or 7. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the 
serio. Ok. Ahora inicio. Ahora inicio yo. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon. Try. Wait. I am playing a video conference. Oh. <laughs> Teacher, ¿cómo se dice siete y media? Seven thirty. 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 Así, thirty. Thirty. Seven thirty. 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 Okay, a ver. Good afternoon, Raúl. Hola. ¿Andas jugando con papá, pues? Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference right? What the new thing in San Salvador? What is our thing doing right now yes it is they are getting read read in for the conference in the meeting room i see what time do you usually get get to your workplace what the first thing with you do i usually arrive at 6 30 a.m and the first thing I do is to check email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick, pick up the later. Uh -huh. um, ahí está Daniel, pero no sé si va a participar. Lo veo con el... Está en mute. Está en mute. Ok. Uh, bueno, doy lectura yo. Uh, right. Ryan, good afternoon, Raúl. What are, you, uh, what are you doing right now? Raúl, good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference, Ryan. Teacher. Hi. No estoy. Eh, yo no tiene problemas con el internet, así que no hemos podido practicar. practicar. All right. Pero aquí lo estoy leyendo yo, ¿verdad? Pero no hemos podido practicar. You want to practice with me? Que lo he estado leyendo yo ahorita. Okay, I can practice with you if you want. Okay. You start. Teacher. Yes. Um, creo que un palo nos ha botado la, la, el cable de, 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 del Inter acá en Colonia y, y ahorita estoy pasándome el wifi de mi teléfono, pero no es lo mismo. No problem, don't worry. Y no sé hasta qué día van a ir a restaurar la conexión. Oh, no. That's so sad. Así que I'm sorry ahí. Ok. So... George, are you, okay, you are Ryan, go. <laughs> Star. Perdón, ¿qué decía? Usted es Ryan, dele. Usted inicia. 
Eh, pero, que lo lea. Ah, va a proteger a mí. Ah, bueno. <risa> eh, good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, right Ryan. Well, I'm planning a video conference. Oh, a conference with a new team in San Salvador. ¿Cómo se pronuncia en San Salvador? Es en Salvador. Ah, en San Salvador. Mm -hmm. What is our team doing right now? Oh, yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the mirror room. I see. What time do you actually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I read, I read, arrive. Uh, arrive, perdón. Mm -hmm. I arrive at 7 or 7... ¿Cómo se pronuncia este primer? 30. 7.30 7 7.30 7 mm -hmm. It depends on traffic My oh. first activity is to pick up pick up the letter the letter Yes, 7.30 It depends pick up, on yes. pick up, recoger como recoger la encomienda Pick up Pick up the traffic No, pick up the letters <laughs> The pick ups All right. Pick up, pero como acción, ¿verdad? El de coger las cartas. All right. Thanks. So let me go check the other rooms. Keep practicing. All right. The first group we have Tatiana, Dolores, and Lady. Who is saying the conversation? Mm -hmm. What are you doing right now? Who is practicing with Tatiana? Uh -huh. a lady. Lady. Okay. Good afternoon. What? Wait, I am planning a video conference. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. There are series ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you? I usually assume a six six no six I am a the six thing I have I thought is the chest my email and you well I arrive at seven or seven thirty it depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. <laughs> Great. The second was Brenda, Daniela, and Karen. And um, okay, so Karen and me. Really? Yeah. So you too? Yeah. <laughs> no choice. Okay. Empiezo <laughs> yeah. yo, Karen, o usted. Usted. Okay. Mm, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Will, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are hearing ready for the conference in the middle room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6 30. 30. 30. Yeah, and the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, arrive at 7 or 7 30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Nice. 6.30, 7.30, el 30, el problema aquí. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, nice. The third group was Juliana and Julius. Oh, partners and partners. <laughs> Partner, partners at work and partners in crime. <laughs> okay. Así nos lesionó. <laughs> Perfect. Voy con Ryan, Julio. Vaya, perfecto. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Uh, good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, oh, the conference was the new thing in the San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. Uh, they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually go to your workplace? That what's the first thing will you do? I usually arrive at six half a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, all right. At seven or seven city in the bands of traffic, my fear activity is to pick up the letters. To pick up the letters, that's right. Okay. There was any other group? Aileen, Jonas, and George. <laughs> oh, but George didn't have any partner because the other two were having issues and problems. So I practiced with George, I remember. 
Are you ready, George? Are you ready? So I start. Con quien lo voy a... With me. <laughs> I start. Good afternoon, George. What are you doing right now? ¿Quién empieza yo? Me. Ah, oh, okay. Bye. Good afternoon, George. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, bitch. <laughs> Ya iba a decir otra cosa. Ya me iba a llamar Raúl o Ryan. Will I am planning a video conference? Ah, the video conference. Oh, with the new team in San Salvador. I mean, what is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to work, to your workplace? And what's the first thing that you do? I usually arrive at 30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. And the first thing I do is to pick up the letters. Yay! <laughs> I just bothered George because he didn't have any partner to practice. Poor George. Algo que todavía no les quede claro de esa conversation? Algo que quieran que parafraseemos o expliquemos? Check, check, check. Double check. Uh -huh. Hicieron una pregunta. Sí. La palabra de pick up, pick up tiene varios significados en inglés. Sí, en este caso está, está siendo usado como el contexto de recoger, como un verbo, como una acción. Obviamente, si lo usamos como sustantivo para nombrar un objeto, es un carro, un pick up. Right. Pero en este, en este contexto está haciendo la función de una acción, un verbo. Está un poco difícil eso para saber cuándo, cuándo usarlo. Cuando vayamos a nombrar una acción, o sea, generalmente la acción va después de un sujeto. ¿Quién hace la acción? Por ejemplo, si usted dice que él... Pick up, recoge a los pasajeros, podría sonar como un poco confuso porque the pick up picks up the passengers. <ríe> de hecho, usted cuando va a traer a alguien, usted dice, I will pick you up, te voy a ir a recoger. Dice, oh, mi mamá me fue a recoger a la escuela, por decir algo. My mom picks me up at school. Or I will pick up my children at school. También es eso. No solo recoger así literalmente del suelo, sino que ir a recoger a alguien en un automóvil. Ir a traer a alguien. I will pick you up at the airport. Ese es otro, otro uso muy común. Ahí te voy a ir a recoger al aeropuerto. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Alguna otra? Doubt. ¿Alguna otra duda? No. Sure. Estamos bien. Very, very, very good. Ok. Vaya. Continuemos, pues. Let's continue. Uy. One second. Algo se me esconde acá. Aquí está. Vaya. Estaban para discutir dos questions, nada más sobre la conversation. Who is, oh, who gets earlier at the workplace? ¿Quién llega más temprano, Raúl o Ryan? Raúl. <laughs> Raúl, porque he says, I usually arrive at... 
Six thirty. Yeah. Uh, and Ryan arrives. Seven or seven thirty. Seven or seven thirty. He definitely arrives late. Ay, pero que es tan trágico. El poder siquiera llegar a las seven. Here in San Salvador, that is so difficult. <laughs> yeah, and I don't imagine. Uh, I don't imagine ma okay, getting at work at 6.30 en el que el día que como a las 4 y todo el mundo <laughs> madruga para todo my children, my students at the foundation they say they, they yes, they take the bus at 4 to get to school at 6.30 or 7 that is too bad and what is the topic Raul and his team are discussing in the conference. Mm -hmm. Sobre el nuevo equipo. Mm -hmm. no. The new team. Sí. Yes, yeah, with the new team in San Salvador, right? Okay, great. Aquí tenemos la explicación, que ese es como el contraste. Yo les decía poner en uso ambas estructuras al mismo tiempo. Cosas que están sur, a mí, sucediendo en el momento y cosas que por lo general suceden. Por eso utilizamos el contraste o la combinación, si quieren decir así, de ambos tiempos, ya sea del present continuous y el simple present. Uh -huh. O oh, al revés, aquí lo han puesto al revés. La verdad que al inicio han puesto el simple present y a continuación el present continuous. Veamos. We use simple present for general information and routine activities. And we use the present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Ongoing, so then, I mean, lo que significa es que son acciones que están sucediendo al mismo tiempo que estamos hablando. O sea, son cosas que estamos haciendo y las estamos describiendo, right? Y estas son las que usualmente suceden. I check my email every morning. I'm planning a video conference. He writes reports about meeting. They are getting the documents ready. She audits inventories. She's editing the information. They arrange meetings and the secretary is making a phone call. Esto es lo que usualmente sucede y esto es lo que está sucediendo en el momento en el que lo estoy contando o que lo estoy diciendo. Right? Vaya, tienen un pequeño exercise. Obviamente pueden volver a leer esta información, eh, repetir los usos, repetir los ejemplos y luego completar estas sentencias. Complete the sentences in present continuous. Estas sentencias deben ir en present continuous y luego en, las, en los cuadritos o en los boxes tienen que escribir activities que usualmente hacen on Monday morning. Lo que generalmente hace el día lunes por la mañana, ¿ok? Vamos a cambiar de groups para que puedan interactuar con alguien más. Let's see. Somebody else works with you.
compartir pantalla. Eh, lo que pasa es que estoy en el teléfono. Mm. Después ya vamos a, a poner las primeras... <risa> <risa> las primeras cosas que hacemos en la mañana. Hola, Daniel. Es que así es más fácil. <risa> no sé, sí. O sea, queremos qué es lo que hacemos en la mañana. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Lo primero es el número cuatro, Dani. ¿Cómo? Permítame, voy a meterme aquí. Vaya, ¿Dónde, ¿a dónde está usted en, en las una, oraciones? En la página 32. Mm. ¿No es lo que estamos viendo, pues? Ajá. Uh -huh. Se supone, bueno, ahí está. Teacher, Vamos a resolver que es lo que ha enviado ¿no? esto. Es que yo estoy viendo lo de las seis preguntas. No, de las seis oraciones. Y lo que vamos a escribir. Ahí están las seis, ¿verdad? Ahí están las seis. Ahora se escriban las actividades que usualmente hacemos los domingos por la mañana. Supongo que tienen que hacer actividades en el trabajo. Ajá. No dice en el trabajo. Creo que sería de, o sea, desde que nos levantamos, quizás. Yo los lunes por lo general me levanto muy más temprano que, que los otros días de la semana. Sería güey a... Y yo el día que más tarde. De verdad. Ay, no me quiero levantar. Como venís de fin de semana que no te has levantado temprano. Ah, uh, sí. Muy bien. Mm, no, creo que es una. Esa palabra se ha repetido. Es una, es una esta. Okay. Solo es una. Y le damos aquí, era. Uh, it's taking care. Yes. Taking care. Así. Uh -huh. uh, sí. It's taking care. Aquí hay playing. Uh, no, es pay, de pagar. Eh, Poner ah, sí, atención. Ajá. Ah, no sé si sería I am paying attention to the, to the instruction. Yo estoy poniendo atención a las instrucciones. Uh, no sé si viene con el am. I am paying attention. Porque también he visto uh, y me confunde un poco el hecho de, del uso del am. En no, este... pero es que I, I am. I am, ajá, yo estoy poniendo atención a las instrucciones. Ah, sería I am, ¿verdad? Sí. Y uh -huh. ese se quita la Y y se agrega, no, ¿verdad? Eso quiero ver, quiero ver. Sí, no, yo creo Solo que Solo ING. El ING, Paying. ¿Así? ¿Perdón? Ajá, uh -huh. I'm paying. Uh -huh. Sí, correcto. Uh -huh. 
she prepare. Ajá, eh, la última... Ahí sí puede ser. Después de esas cuatro actividades, ¿qué más había que hacer? Claramente. Ah, pero había que usar el ING, va. Ay, great. No sé. Yo no la estoy haciendo. Actividades? Yo no la estoy no haciendo sé. con ING. <ríe> Supongo que si estamos bien el tema, creo que sí. ¿Cómo te quedaron a ti, Karen? Normal. Yo no les he puesto ING. Y en Ah, uh, ING, please. Quiero ver. Ya terminaron, ya terminé. Uh -huh. Las compartimos entonces. Ajá. Daniela. Ok. Yo Le damos en pie. Ajá. Qué conveniente. La <ríe> conveniencia. Sí. Pero ni siquiera empieza el tiempo. Eh, mis actividades. Mm. I have. I have. Um, take shower. I had a and I take a shower, o sea, um, me levanto y me baño. I have dressed and go out to take the pool. Eh, me visto y salgo a tomar el pool. I enter the office. To open the system and have breakfast. Eh, entro a la oficina, aperturo el sistema y desayuno. I start serving clients and I help my boss. Eh, inicio atendiendo clientes y ayudando a mi jefe. Okay. Voy yo. I take a bath at 5 a.m. I prepare my breakfast at 6.20. I go to work. I greet my coworkers and start my work day. Finish. Okay. I got it.
de verdad que de las actividades que íbamos a hacer, no las íbamos a formular como, como oraciones. Así. Solo poner las actividades. ¿Las cuatro actividades? Uh -huh. No, ahí solo dice, describe en las cajitas las actividades que usualmente eh, hacemos el, los lunes por la mañana. No precisamente una oración, pero lo podríamos hacer. Por ejemplo, la mía yo había dicho, I get up very early. Le podía agregar mmm, Monday in the morning. Me levanto muy temprano, los lunes por la mañana. I get up very early. All right, did you finish? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. First, let's check the activities that you usually do on Monday morning. Let's see, Karen. <laughs> okay. Tell us. I have um, a take a shower. Uh -huh. I get I up take and take a shower, all right. And I have dressed. I get and, dressed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and go out to take the bus. And go out to take the bus. Uh -huh. I enter the office to open the system. And have breakfast. Mm -hmm. Enter the office, open the system, and have breakfast. Mm -hmm. I start serving clients, and I have my boss. Okay, start serving clients and helping my boss. Oh, yeah. right, that's good. What about George? What are the activities I usually do on Monday morning? Um, I get get up at five twenty mm -hmm. AM mm -hmm. and exercise. Exercise. Um I shower. Take a shower. I, uh, take a shower. <laughs> I take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and dress. Get and, dressed. No, and, and dress. Get, get. Or work. Get dressed and go to work. Get dressed. Ah, okay. Get dressed. Me, me faltó eso ahí. Okay. Go to work. Go to work. All right. Uh, uh, six uh -huh. twenty-five. I leave. Leave. O sea, salgo para el trabajo. I leave. I leave Ajá, to I work leave at six twenty-five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y la última. I arrive at work. I arrive uh, to work. Arrive, arrive mm -hmm. at work. At uh, 45 am, mm -hmm. and check the the student table and prepare the car for the first class. Oh my God! You live near the school. That's awesome. Yes. Okay. Daniela. Mm -hmm. I take a bath at 5 a.m. I prepare my breakfast. At 6.20, I go to work. I greet my co-workers and start my work day. Oh, wow. Super early. 
Very early. And what time do you finish? At three or at four? Four thirty. Four thirty. Yeah. Oh, that's a very long day at work. Mm -hmm. Okay, Juliana. Okay, the four activity I do on Monday morning are number one, uh, I get up very early, mm -hmm. 5 p.m., 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Um, I take a shower mm -hmm. and make a breakfast. Mm -hmm. I go the number two, mm -hmm. number three, go to work, and number four, uh, mm -hmm. check my email in the work. All right, only that's all. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you for sharing. That's very cool. Let's see. Las sentences que estaban en ING, digo, present continuous, también las hicieron? Did you do it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. 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 Okay, la primera igual ya estaba resuelta. Thomas is printing the contract. Okay, ¿cómo quedó la number two? She is meeting with the boss right now. Okay, Sharon's okay. meeting with the boss right now. Number three. He take, he is taking care of everything. Taken. Okay, he's taking care of everything. Okay. Uh, Number four. Uh, I am uh, paying, paying attention, attention to the instruction. I am paying attention to the instructions. She is preparing, preparing the briefing. She is preparing the briefing. Preparing. They are sending they are the product to the warehouse. They are sending the product to the warehouse. That's right. Correct. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Okay. Okay, let's have the last attendance. We're almost on time. Let me see. Veamos. No sé qué le pasó a Daniel. Se conectó, se desconectó. I don't know what happened. Daniela. Present. Daisy Tatiana. Present. Dolores de los Ángeles. Dolores. Hello. Hello. Present. <laughs> Juliana. Present. Present. Hi. George. 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 Present. Present. Julio. Karen. Present. Present, present, present. <laughs> Lady. And that's it. Present. Bye. Present. Very good. Really? Yes. Oh my God. Let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, here. Okay. All right. Bye. Recapitulemos. What was the class about? ¿De qué trató la clase? Any uh, volunteer? Simple present a present continuous. Okay. Simple present and present continuous in contrast, right? Uh huh. Anything else? Algo más? Uh -huh. Y es una forma quizás de identificar también eh, o de identificar de, 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 de cuál es simple present y present continuo. Este present continuo lleva 
I R E. I am Jean. Y me aprecian, no. Exacto, el verbo no lleva nada. Lleva S solo para la tercera persona del singular. Por aquí, she, it. Uh -huh. En afirmativo nada más. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh, muy bien. ¿Qué otro? ¿Qué otro detalle? ¿Recuerdan? También practicamos nuestra pronunciación. Yes, we work on pronunciation. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Qué más? No more? No more, no more? Ok. Veamos, ¿quién no ha participado aún en la sesión de 101? Democracia. Democracy tonight. <ríe> Ajá. ¿Todos ya participaron? Everybody yes. participated? Really? Yes. Oh, wow. How efficient. Interesante. Danny, you participated? Yo. Yes? Sí, ya participé. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Teacher, Jonas, teacher. no. Teacher, yes? help. Help. Tell me. Uh, what do you say, alguien más? Somebody else. Or anybody oh. else. Puede ser uh -huh. de... De ambas formas, si usted está afirmando, somebody else. Pero si usted está preguntando, es anybody else. Mm -hmm. Porque el son sí. es para afirmar y el any es para preguntar o negar. Para, para question. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál utiliza usted con frecuencia cuando nos dice, hace la interrogante? ¿Alguien más? ¿Anybody else? Anybody else. Ok. <risa> Thank you. Yes. All right. O sea que ya todos participaron entonces. Volunteers. No, teacher, yo no, Eileen. ¿Y si puede? Este, pero quizás hoy no, pero hoy, okay. porfa. No, no problem. Gracias. It's all right. Ok. Si no, todo no me voy a quedar para hacer los 10 minutos. Ah. <risa> y todo, no. <risa> Please. No. No, please. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Oh, tomorrow is Friday, right? Tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can I see you tomorrow, don't worry. Creí que voy a ir al viernes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tiene feeling the Friday, though. Yes. I know. Take care. Dismiss. Relax, sleep, mm -hmm. <laughs> sleep well. <laughs> okay, it's hot. I love sleep. <laughs> Is it hot in your place, in your city? Or it's okay? It's very hot. It's really hot, right? Especially yes. in La Union. Yes, right now it's not hot. It's not hot. Um, it's oh. hot on um, Mars. Oh, really? Mars, uh, May is very hot. But right now it's cool. Not cool. It's some um, so so. It's so so. <laughs> yeah, when we say cold, it's frío. Pero cool, es como está tranquilo. Sí, de, para cool. como es que hay una hay una temporada en la que incluso bueno mi pared es una pared que da la, mi casa. Uh -huh. a la pared a la calle y por la tarde pega fuerte el sol uh -huh. allí hay ocasiones cuando sí está caliente que 8 de la noche usted toca la pared y se siente caliente todo really? sí. cuesta ahí las tortillas sí. <risa> <risa> pero ahorita está calmado San Miguel It's... igual es hot I know. la unión San Miguel en Usultán also right sí. uh -huh. Usultán es It's hot, hot, hot. Well, sí. in the temperature, como ahorita, como en cuanto anda? Um, 35. I don't know, 20, 30, no, no, no. 
30. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Um, debo convertir. Debo no. Once I convert. Uh -huh. From Fahrenheit to Celsius. From Celsius uh, to Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay. Correcto. Okay. Uh, 31. 31, okay, it's fine. 31. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, now here in Salvador is really hot, especially in the afternoon. In the morning, it's kind of relaxed, kind of cool, but in the afternoon, it gets really, really hot. Terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Okay. No, no, ya está calmadito. Igual ha habido un cachito de brisa. <laughs> Thank God. Uh -huh. Thank God. Okay, don't worry. Go to sleep, everybody. Go and rest. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye -bye. See you.